Life is like the ocean. It can be calm and still or rough and rigid, but in the end, it's always beautiful. Anonymous. We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Finally, the coal boat work is done and we are headed south. We head out of Fort Pierce heading back to Lake Worth where we entered coming back from the Bahamas in April. Everything south of Lake Worth to Dania Beach will be new waters for us. We're also trying to catch up with an old high school friend and the man who taught Dee to fly. He's in the area for work and he wants to get a ride aboard Journey. We cruise through Jupiter once more and catch some great footage of the lighthouse. She is a beauty to see from the water. We make Lake Worth by late afternoon into this always full anchorage where you can always squeeze another boat. The distance to see Scott and bring him aboard though is just too much with the sun sinking, so we'll try to get up with him just a little south of the lake at West Palm at their public docks in the morning. First morning at anchor since leaving Journey in Stewart, Florida last April. It feels so good to be back aboard her and everything running smoothly. After the morning coffee, it's time to get Scott on board. Scott was our complimentary captain for the day as we headed south out of West Palm toward our anchorage in Delray Beach. We enjoyed a great afternoon cruise down the ICW. This cruise was all new for us, so we were enjoying all the sights. Even got some great pictures of Miralaga. into Delray Beach area we get inside the concrete jungle again where wakes have nowhere to go so it's like a washing machine. We're so surprised people choose to live on the ICW in areas like this. I believe Scott enjoyed his cruise down. We anchored, had some cocktails before heading up the ICW in Shelby back to a restaurant we passed where Scott could catch an Uber. We enjoyed happy hour at Deck 84 with good drinks, good food, and good company. Thanks, Scott. The next day, Dee and I continued to head south. Next stop, Marine Stadium, Miami. Again, much of this trip is new to us, so we're enjoying all the houses, yachts, Christmas decorations, Sometimes there are just no words to describe it all, to so just enjoy the ride with us.
we enjoy our cruise south, we finally may call over inlet and blue-green water. We were super excited and realized we were finally getting close to our anchorage. Only one more bridge time to make. Then we catch sight of a towboat U.S. pulling this yacht. It's always nice when the towboat can match your yacht if it breaks down in Miami. Some not so great weather is headed our way, which always includes wind. So we'll be in the Marine Stadium on a Friday and Saturday night. Not a great idea, I must add. Don't do it, ever. The sunsets in the city are breathtaking, but the nightlife in this cove will keep you awake all night. Marine Stadium during the day is party central. All the rental boats come here with their passengers for the day and some for the night. This is the hangout spot for the Miami area. Dee and I just spent Saturday enjoying the view from our deck, cruising in Shelby to catch all the sights. And enjoyed another great sunset before it got dark and continued to stay rowdy. Saturday night was the worst with the constant bass of music beating all night. Early Sunday morning as we headed out we found the flat waters of Key Biscayne and knew we had made the right decision even with a little sleep. Then the best gift ever. We were greeted by our dolphin friends. We ended our day from Miami in our favorite anchorage in the Keys, Shell Key off Isla Mirada. The waters continued to stay flat and beautiful as the sun went down. The sunset was breathtaking and the calm continued the next morning when the sun came back up. The pictures don't describe how beautiful it was. We never met our sailboat neighbor and wish he'd not left so quickly before we were able to share these fabulous shots of his sailboat. Maybe our sailboat neighbor knew something we did not know. Fog set in by mid-morning and did not lift for several hours. Apparently the fog was just around Isla Mirada. We were sitting in the middle of it. We could not move even though just north and south there wasn't any. 
But just after lunch, we began to see the bridge about three or so miles away and slowly made plans to depart and head south to Marathon and another favorite anchorage at Coco Plum. After the fog lifted, the trip down to Marathon was beautiful and clear. So fishing commenced. Dinner would be fresh tonight. We made it into Coco Plum and battled a little more fog after anchoring before catching another great sunset from our old hangout before we went to the Bahamas. Remember my pelican friends? We woke the next morning to a dolphin speeding in the shallows before heading out to Little Torch for the night. And the anchor issue continues to get worse. Our windlass is dying. We did not fight setting the anchor at Little Torch. We just had loud words. We were not using the windlass, so Dee was setting our secondary anchor without the windlass. But we did make up before this last sunset at anchor, because we need a new windlass. And it did not disappoint. I know by now everyone knows sunsets are our thing, so sit back, enjoy watching the sun drop into the water. Due to the windless and a little job I was trying to secure in Key West, we needed to arrive a day early, and the good staff at Garrison Bike Marina said, come on in. So after just a minor fight getting anchored the night before, and the need to pull the anchor by hand the next day, we were off and headed to the dock a day early for our, stay, our winter stay in Key West. How do you begin your Key West winter adventure as locals? Well, we started with the margarita from the Sunset Tiki Bar, and Angelina's Pizza. <laughs> 